what it is, what it do. Jay Killen here with another episode of Doki Doki Thought Club. And if some of you are upset at me for the cliffhanger, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. But I just want to let you know that I didn't skip ahead or anything. I'm going to be walking to this the same time as you. So if you're as excited as I am to get into this, be sure to hit the like button. And we're going to dive right into it. But quick recap was we were in the club and we were worried about Sayori because Sayori was just not acting right. So we tried. So a day passed. We woke up and we're like, well, what the heck? Sayori's not here. So now we went to her house to try to figure out what's up. And we're going to kick down her door to see what she's doing. So, we kick down her door and... Sayori! Ah! Killing! Sayori? What the hell are you doing? Well, that was a letdown. I felt as if the world was weighing down on my shoulders for a split second. Yeah, because we didn't know what she was going to do. If I walked in a second later... I would have seen Sari without any clothes on. Oh yeah, Sari also has a noose in her hands. I like how that's the casual thing. The fr- his primary concern was, I would have seen Sari naked. The thought. But he's like, oh yeah, she has a noose in her hand. Yeah, that. that's also some importance too. So, that's pretty bad. Wait, that's really bad. He's like, wait, what the fuck? He's like, Killing, it's not what it looks like. What do you mean it's not what it looks like? What, were you playing cowgirl or something? Nah, actually it kind of is. Are you trying to commit neck rump? You know, we call it the Portuguese necktie over here, MC. Without inviting me? How rude. Eh? Well, that doesn't... Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. That's, That's not the important thing here. Sorry, what's wrong with you? That's not something you say to somebody who's about to commit neck rope MC. Where's your sense of decency? Oh wait, he never had one, never mind. This is just uncharacteristic of your normal self. Well, I mean, in the original game... If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm... I'm sorry, Kion. I just reached my limit. We're going to talk to Monica. I didn't even say anything about Monica, though. It's pretty clear that Monica's talking to you about stuff. Especially if it resulted in this. So we have to grow a pair and talk to her. Um, I drag Sari out of her house. <laughs> she grabs her by, by the scruff of her neck, but like... And her collar. <laughs> He's just pulling her out with one hand. <laughs> with her heels being making lines in the in the floor and dirt as he dragging her to the school. <laughs> and I don't forget to burn the rope with the lighter my grandpa gave me from Vietnam. <laughs> this guy just has everything. Like holy holy moly. This this guy's so resourceful. The real Vietnam. <laughs> not that not that BS reenactment I did. Stay here, Sayori. I head across to the other hall, which by itself seems pretty normal. However, behind the American flag hanging on the wall is a retina scanner. I put my eye to it, and a hidden door pops up. I walk, I walk inside. Oh, man. My, my man said he was packing. He, he was a lion, though. This is mad heat. I forgot forgot how cramped it was in here. Also, forgive the resolution. This is literally just how it looks. I guess the mod, I guess the people who made the mod didn't fit this to scale properly. So this just looks really weird. Anyway, I forgot how cramped it was in here. Now, don't be alarmed. When I said I was going to talk to Monica, I mean I am going to talk to her but with a teeny bit more lead than normal. Hmm, what to choose from? 
me being the all-American boy I am, I'd take an M16, an M1911, and a hand grenade. Whoa! Sayori? What are you doing in here? I got bored waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see Sayori's feeling better. And she's inside my private, private ass gun cabinet. But. Sorry, these are real weapons. You should probably. Ooh, I like this one. Sorry picks up in Arisaka. I'm ready now, Killin. To be a rational adult. <laughs> yeah, a rational adult with an Arisaka. Do you even know how to use that? Well, now that you, well, now that you say it like that. Then let's go, I guess. He's just gonna let her keep the gun? Okay, alright. Alright, Killin. How are we approaching this? Good question. <laughs> Open and clear. Flash and clear. Okay, I'll, uh, so many choices. I'm gonna have to save that too. So, some days soon, I have to go back and look at all these choices I, I didn't take. Um... I want to say, oh, you know, let's do. We're gonna use. If we're gonna use a flashbang, let's go flash. Cause I want. Cause it'll be scarier if we throw a flashbang and surprise her. And then when she gets her senses together, uh, we're just surrounding her with guns. This is good. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. All right, Sayori. Ready a flashbang. Copy. I open the door ajar, and Sayori tosses in the flashbang. And I swiftly close the door to prevent the flashbang from affecting us. Bang! Sorry, then braced yourself. Knock, knock, knock! <laughs> FBI open up! <laughs> FBI open up! <laughs> Damn, it's really been a while since I've been in the club room. Well, except when Sayori and I shot up Monica. What? Yes? Yes, Monikians? She is Dunzo. Gonzo? I really don't know how to use that. I really don't know how to word that. Wow. Okay. So, I was not ready for that. They just stormed the club room and neutralized, neutralized Monica. <laughs> Holy mo- Whoa, dude. What the heck? Wow. Anyway, the usual scene greets me. Sarah being way happier ever since we took care of her problems like rational adults. Yuri is reading as usual, but something is kind of off. Where's Natsuki? I take a si I take a sniff of the air. Hmm, it's not as toxic as usual. <laughs> it's like Natsuki isn't here. Where's Natsuki? <laughs> As much as I hate asking that, I do have to wonder. Mm, it really makes me wonder. Hey Yuri, do you know where Natsuki is? Hmm? I guess I never did see Natsuki come in today. She's most likely still at her house. I wouldn't be surprised though. You see, she has a pretty strict household. So it's most. Well, it's most likely possible that her father... Ah! I probably shouldn't say anything! It's fine, Yuri. I understand. Nazis being held against her will. That son of a bitch! I remember clearly. Natsuki said something about her father before that could point to her household being pretty strict. Back then I wouldn't have thought, of, thought about this, but now that I'm hearing more into the story... She did say something about her father during the first club meeting. So as of right now, her father is on my mind. I take a knife out from my boot. Okay! I don't know how you can walk with that, but sure. Won this from a poker game. Wonder what that's references. I think... I have an idea of what poker game that might be. I think it's that one crossover one with like Max the Rabbit and like the Heavy from TF2. I don't know. Let me know if you know it. Let me know if I'm wrong and you know where it's from. I don't know. I texted Sari to make sure the address I was at was correct. Even though I really didn't need it. She legit lives across the street from me and Sari. Really? 
Then why'd you need an address? And how'd you know that? And why did the three of you walk to school together? How'd you just find out that she lives across the street from you? Why aren't you guys childhood friends? Monica and Yuri also live near here as well. Why haven't all of you been childhood friends then? Why haven't you all known each other for so long if you live so close together and probably go to the same school? I mean, maybe there's a logical answer to that, but I don't know. Huh. Convenient. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anyway, as I approach your house, I hear... Alright, so I'm stopping here. <laughs> 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 no! Son? Anyway. Oh, hell no! I think for this situation, I should pull out my secret weapon. For my pocket, I erect a can of spinach. Erecting a can of spinach! With all the strength I could conjure from my right hand, I squeeze the lid and pop, and the lid pops off. The spinach flies a good couple feet in the air in an expert fashion and lands in my mouth. I feel a surge within my body and the power from it rushes into my biceps. Suddenly I feel my biceps pulse with the strength because of the iron and calcium found within spinach. Next thing you know, I'm swole AF. I roll my sleeves and punch down the door. Bah! Who the hell are you? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Shut your crack car. You're about to get memed. I raise my knife. 28 stab wounds? 29. Yep. Huh. You really did mean my dad. That doesn't really matter. Where the hell are you going to sleep? Or stay tonight? Probably at my mom's house. Where exactly is your mom's house? Noski points right down the road at a random house. Oh, what the hell? She abandoned me a whole point seven seconds after birth. Um... But she lives right across. The, or she lives right down the road. Why does everyone live like within a block? Everyone lives in the same block. Natsuki's mom, Natsuki, Monica, Yuri—they all live like right in the same block. This is the most convenient story that's ever been convenienced. Ha! Huh, you're impressed. I can tell. You know, maybe you should go to the hospital to a hospital instead. You seem pretty worn out, anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. Later that night, I dropped Natsuki off at the hospital. I listened to good music while, while waiting to see if she would withstand her injuries. However, I ended up blacking out instead. Well, okay then. That's pretty interesting. This is bullshit! <laughs> Well, about the hospital, I woke up at 3 in the morning. Now I'm groggy as hell and I need some sleep. I can't sleep on an empty stomach, though. I'm thinking, a hot dog with some all-American stuff in it. Huh? As I head into the kitchen, I draw my attention to the table. Something seems to have left it. Oh, someone seems to have left a note for me. But how in the hell did someone get into my house? If someone really did try to pick my door open, then the chair gun hidden in the pot of plants would have torn in shreds. Oh, the chain gun. I read chair gun. Please, just don't ask. Hey, it's okay. It's a security system. It's good to have security systems. Anyway, I look at the note. Uh oh. Uh. This is Yuri's note, but. Um. Why is Yuri's note here? Oh, whoop. They didn't code that right. Anyway. This is... Wow. Uh, this is the first time I actually looked at it like this. Okay. Yuri got into our house somehow. Did someone use this piece of paper as a tampon or some shit? Oh, so that's what she said she endowed it with her sense. 
Wow! That's gross! Either way, what the actual fuck? Did you just swear in my Christian Minecraft server? This is some crazy stuff. Screw this though, I took extra precautions tonight. I look out my window one last time. I will shoot trespassers on sight. You hear me? <laughs> on sight. That's just scare away robbers and rapists. Well, with that, I'm going to bed. Mmm. Mmm. Damn, I can't shake these chills, though. Might as well read something to pass time. Seriously, the fucked up person just sneaks into an all-American household, pisses on a piece of paper, and then bleeds on it. That's just messed up. This one looks good. <laughs> Go fuck to sleep. This book should be interesting. Huh, it really helped me go to F to sleep. Damn, that was a good dream. Hot dogs, hand grenades, America. How could a dream get any better? Oh wait, that's right. It can't. Paired with that storybook, I slept like someone who just drank bleach. Wow, okay, that doesn't make any sense. That's just shocking. A hillbilly who just binged alcohol. A nut nut fill, fill up with, filled up on grits. Or a cut cut. Overall, I slept like a baby. Anyway, as soon as I walk into the club room... Oh, 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 uh, 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 Guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Hi, Killin. Sup? <laughs> How did you sleep last night? Hmm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes. Wait, what? Screw this shit, that's hella creepy. <laughs> Yuri isn't normally that creepy, right? No, not until Act 3. Or Act 2. Yes, Act 2. Very strange. Well, that was a good day. Yup. Stuff totally isn't going- Stuff totally isn't going bonkers right now. It went by in a flash. Because of all the f the fun I had. You know, minding my own business, listening to music. You didn't see it because my eyes were closed the entire time. Not because the coder was lazy to go day 7. Mm, no, no, no! <laughs> no sorry, Bob. Well then, I guess I'm going home then. Hey, Killin. Sorry, how's it going? Pretty good, but if you don't mind me asking... Hmm? You don't mind staying for a little while longer, do you? To... clean up? No, I don't mind. But I'm wondering where this is going. She wants us to stay behind. And she's blushing. Uh... Great! <laughs> like, Great! I'll be in the next classroom waiting for you to finish. Sorry Hurley rushed out of the room. Wait, is she setting me up? Is she setting me up for Yuri? I don't like where this is going. Guys, I'm scared. I also noticed Sayori- Oh, I also noticed Natsuki running with her as well. I'm relieved that she's okay. Guys, I'm scared. Well, I look around the room. However, right away I noticed the room seemed pretty spotless. Might as well clean up anyway, even though the room is practically clean. I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Oh, they set me up! These thoughts! They fucking set me up! Finally! Huh? I turn around. Finally! Um, Yuri? Shut up! <laughs> I'm not going 
to sit here and listen to you ramble on about whatever. So be quiet, and no one will get hurt. I noticed Yuri idle her left hand toward her side, toward the side of her a little bit. From that, I saw the tiniest flash of silver behind her. Oh no! Oh! Is that a knife? I have to set this straight before the others. <clears throat> Fuck it! Kill it! I'm madly in love with you. Screw this! We have to go. Leave this place. Just the two of us. Then we can do whatever we want. This is pretty fucked up. You never even commented on the poem I wrote for you last night. You mean the poem that you that you put that you put in your unmentionables and left in my dining room table after you stuck into my house? Yuri, this is not okay. Yuri, I thought you were okay. We neutralized Monica ahead of time. You should be okay. And I worked so hard on it. Yep. This is definitely fucked up. I have to end this. The one way I know how. I worked so hard on it. Ha! <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> Now's my chance. I slowly sneak behind Yuri, and once I'm fully behind her, I rub my hands together. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! Here it comes! And in an elegant, almost godlike motion, I motion my hand toward her, towards her neck. Boy! Then I reel back and... <laughs> he pip slap, he pip slap, he pip slap Fury. <laughs> he pip, he pip slap Monica. And he pip slap Yuri. He's like, a minute! Lord, let me say the pimp's prayer. God, I'm praying for the soul of this bitch. And I pray that you guide my pimp hand and make a strong lord. So that she may learn a hoe's place. Amen. Ow! Killin! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you and all this bullcrap you've been trying to put on, this, trying to pull on me? And the bullcrap you will listen to Sayuri and Natsuki to help you with too. I'm the bad guy here because I decided to knock some sense into you, literally. Fellas, fellas, you see, you just can't win. You just can't win. No matter what you do, you lose for winning and you win for losing. Why did you do that? That's a long story. Better yet. Where is everyone else? Oh, everyone else went to another classroom for reasons, I guess. Really? I'm going to be late. Huh? Late? Late for what? School's over. Well, I guess Yuri's back to normal now. So I guess I'm still on cleaning duty. Well, better late than never. I grab a bloom... A bloom... A broom from the closet and get to work. Well, I just finished housewife um housewifing for Sayori, even though she should be slaving away at it like the club president she is. Damn thoughts don't want to tend to simple housework like they used to back in the day. Ugh. God in heaven. Holy crap. Boy, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. I can't do any more for now. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay. Well, that was fun. Also very eventful. I don't know where the hell this mod's going to go from here, but this, this was something else. I'm just going to save here so I don't lose my progress. Uh, going to go to page two. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. 
I hope you had as much fun as I did. And be sure to hit the like button and comment how much how much fun you had watching this. Because I'm having just as much fun playing it. Anyway, it's been real. It's been fun. It's your boy Jay Killing. Ciao for now.